Hey gang and welcome to your first step in becoming a full stack ninja with React, Redux and Firebase. So just a quick preview of what we're going to be making in this course with React and Redux. It's going to be this simple project management tool complete with authentication and cloud functions as well. So you can see right here we have two different projects. I can view them to see more about them. It's going to say who posted them and the time. And if I wanted to, I could add a new project. I could say something like Yoshi's Egg Hunt and then just paste in a load of content down here, create that. And that's going to appear on the front as well in time order. And you should see in a minute this update over on the right as well. You can see Mario Plumber added a new project a few seconds ago. So every time something happens, like someone signs up, or someone creates a new project, we're going to get that notification in real time over here as well. Um, speaking of authentication, we can log out right here and we can sign back in or I could sign up. So let me sign up with a new username. We'll say Yoshi at the net ninja.co.uk password test one, two, three, four, first name Yoshi and then something not sure what Yoshi's surname is. But anyway, sign up and now we're logged in as Yoshi. And we should see in a second, you can see Yoshi something joined the party. So that means they signed up and I could add now a new project as Yoshi if I wanted to. OK, so that's the application in a nutshell that we're going to be building. And like I said, this is going to be complete with React, Redux and Firebase. So we're using Firebase Firestore as a real time database to store all of our data in. We're going to be using Firebase Cloud Functions for these notifications over here. We'll be using Firebase Authentication for the authentication flow in the app. And then finally, we're going to be deploying the application to Firebase at the end as well. So in essence, we're creating a full project front and back, the front being React and the back end being Firebase. So you can read more about Firebase if you're unfamiliar with it at firebase.google.com. And we can scroll down here to see all the different features that are available. We're just using a handful of them. You can see all of these different things we can use. We're using the Cloud Firestore, Functions, Authentication and Hosting. So then, my friends, just to reiterate the different things that we'll be using in this course. First of all, to create the application itself, obviously React and Redux. Then we'll be using a package called Thunk, which works really well inside Redux to help us use asynchronous code. Then for the back end, Firebase, Firestore for the data storage, Authentication, Cloud Functions and Hosting as well at the end. Now, before you start getting too ahead of yourselves and dancing around this magical whirlwind of React, Redux and Firebase, I would advise you know a few things first of all. This is not a beginner's React or Redux course. If you don't know a thing about React, I suggest you press the pause button right here and check out instead my React complete tutorial series, which includes Redux as well, and then pop back on over here. Also, you should be familiar with JavaScript and HTML. If not, then probably on the wrong course as well. I'll leave a link to all of these different playlists down below so you can check those out first of all. So as always, I'm going to be providing you with all of the course files right here on GitHub. And you can find those at this repository, React Redux Firebase app. The link is going to be down below. Now, if you want to see the code for lesson 14, for example, you have to select that branch first of all. So each lesson has its own branch. When you select that, then you can see the code and you can browse it. Or if you prefer, you can just clone the repository to your local computer and browse the code that way. Now, I am also going to be using this code editor, Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to leave the link to this down below as well, where you can download it for free. And I would recommend you doing so. It's a really cool free editor. So there we go, my friends. That's your introduction into this course. I really hope to see you in the next one. And if you do like these videos, please, my friends, do not forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the very next video.